Hello friends, welcome to my next video tutorial of multi structure analysis and design using ETAPS 9 program. In this video tutorial, you will learn how to mesh various members in your ETAPS model. So, when using any surface area, you have to use auto mesh or manual mesh command to make your result more precise. So, if I want to do that, say for this panel only, just select the panel or the area you want to use auto mesh or manual mesh command then if i want to do manual mesh for this one i have to go to here this icon which is the mesh area or going to edit here mesh area and now you can see here this is a mesh quad oblique triangles in two two by two so if i use two by two it will make four objects here so this one is individual this one this one this one four press ctrl z select again go to here mesh so if i want to set this should be 5 by 5 or 5 by 8 it will make the object and you can see a preview the object that you can select individually all the piece of object okay but this is a little much difficult to use we don't want to use this one because if i want to select all this pan, uh, panel object i have to select and it, i have to select by uh, either this way or by clicking one by one and it will be difficult to select but this is a also important thing uh, while you are doing the slab analysis using this to check deflection of the slab you have to use this manual mesh option so you can uh, do this manual mesh i'm just pressing ctrl z select this one assign then shell oblique area you can see here a area object mesh option from here just click this fourth option auto mesh object into structural element check this all these options and here you can see here this is 48 48 means it will further subdivide auto mesh with maximum element size of 48 inch right now i have here keep inch in it so this is inch usually what i do i do 24 so 2 feet by 2 feet man, uh, auto mesh if i click ok you can see there is a word mesh but these are default because i have done this is mesh but all other is not done the my auto mesh option so if i want to do all for all of this slab i have to go to here select by area of the type floor okay go to here assign shell area this one area of the auto mesh this is 24 okay so now you can see the mesh has been written for all the panel but here there is no mesh for my wall here I can do auto mesh for my wall by going to here select and by wall this should be w10 so all the wall is selected go to here assign shell oblique area area of mesh and just from here this one ram and wall meshing option here and check this third one and this should be 24 okay now you can see it is showing now mesh so the wall is now under auto mesh if i want to check more clearly i have to go to here elevation c you can see it is auto mesh the same way say you want to do a manual mesh for this wall by selecting and going to here mesh area and the same way here you can see you can do manual mesh of wall or the slab everything okay go to the plan and to do mesh of the ram so any slab which is not flat or inclined click at 3d and say i'm just drawing one inclined slab to show you the command say from here to here 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 done this one you can see here this is the inclined slab and if i want to do a automation of this which is uh, uh, defined as ram select this one and go to here assign shell area object mesh option the same way and here you have to use this command ramp and wall meshing option so to do automation for ramp and shear wall is same by selecting this way if i click here okay you can see it is showing now mesh option must be previously it was a uh, default so this is the way of doing auto mesh of any surface and it is important 
to do for analysis i have done automation for my all floor slab and all wall so you have to do same thing this way for your whole model so thanks for watching my this video see you in the next video